Hey everyone, welcome to episode five of the Healing Part Podcast. I'm so happy to just be here with you today and discuss more about healing when it comes to the mindset. And this area that we're discussing today is talking about childlike trust, healing of the mind. Now, when we talk about healing of the mind, we want to discuss this from a spiritual perspective where you're working at transforming with the word of God to who he wants you to be in specific situations. But before we dive in, let's open with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, I bring every listener before you. I ask, Father, that this word will plant seeds of righteousness in their lives and that they will find new ways, Father, to have that childlike trust in you that the scripture talks about. Father, let there be healing and let there be transformation of the mind, of mindsets, Father, of our mind and heart posture in you. We thank you and we say in Jesus' name, hallelujah and amen. Y'all, I am so happy to dive into this today. Well, let's talk about it. I want to highlight a scripture for you. This is Matthew chapter 18, verses 1 to 3, and I'm going to read it. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who then is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a little child to him and placed the child among them. And he said, Truly, I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. What does this mean? What does it mean when it comes to your mind, the way your mind works, your mindset? Well, we want to talk about trust, okay? Because here, Yahushua, Jesus the Christ, is talking about we as adults have to become like little children. Why do we have to become like little children? Because think about it. When you were a child, the typical way a child is raised, you're five years old. You don't have to worry about paying the mortgage or paying the rent. You're thinking about going to school. When it comes to food, food is provided for you on that table. Your parents are like, hey, come on, eat dinner, eat breakfast. And that's what they're doing with you. Okay? So, now you're an adult, you have taken on the role of being a provider, taking care of yourself, working, paying the bills and all of those things. Here, Jesus is saying that we need to become like children. Well, how do you become like a child, right? So you can enter into the kingdom of heaven, right? It, one, requires you to be born again, which you are. You chose to accept Yahushua, Jesus, as your personal savior. Now, you made that decision, but there are now some physical changes in how you deal with situations that have to change. So you have to have a childlike trust in God, which means this. You are not always going to know how God is going to work something out. You could be in a position of need today and God knows what your needs are, but he wants you to have a childlike faith where you're not trying to figure it out and take that task out of his hand and do it yourself. That childlike faith that Jesus is talking about here requires you to be in a posture of resting in his promises, which is, I will provide for all your needs. Focus on me, focus on my righteousness and the kingdom of God, and all those things will be added unto you. Matthew 6, Philippians 4, 19. We would have heard those scriptures a lot, but what does it mean to implement those scriptures? It means that just like a child, the parents like, go ahead and play right? And while they're playing, then guess what? Things are being done. The house is being taken care of. They have a place to sleep. They have food to eat, but they're not out there physically making those things happen. Well, that's what God is wants to do for you. And he needs you to have a childlike trust in him. That faith, that trust that you had as a child when you were younger, that you didn't even have to think about what is a mortgage, much less even know how to spell the word mortgage because you're just a little kid, right? Well, God wants us to be like that. He wants us to be like that when it comes to working things out for our good. We may not know how he's going to do it or when he's going to do it, but he wants us to have that childlike faith, that childlike trust that he is going to do it. Because think about it, at that age of five, you never went to your parent and say, do you have this? Can you provide for me? 
Are you able to pay the bills? You didn't do that. God wants you to have that trust and faith. And yeah, trusting and faith and praising. Praising is the equivalence of running around and dancing and playing as a child. It's praising. It's, you know, declaring his word. It's going ahead and believing that he is doing this thing for you. That is where he wants you to be. Okay, so how can you do this? What are some of the things you can start to do to adopt this childlike faith? Because you weren't born with this faith, this trust. This is something that grows with you as a child of Yahweh. So you can start to write down the things that you don't fully trust God with. And you have to be fully honest. Come on. God doesn't want you to lie to him. When you're honest with God, he's able to take these things and really work on it within you. So you write down, God, here are the things that concern me and they concern me. And I've brought these things to you before, but what scares me is that you don't always come through when I, when I hope you to come through, you do come through and I thank you, but just having the 11th hour saving this, when he comes through last minute and he comes through last minute quite frequently, it can be a bit traumatizing because you want it to be early. But it's not to traumatize you. It's to know that, hey, even when it's last minute, God will still show up for you. But God has also shown up early too. So think of the times when he showed up early, not just last minute. Sometimes our mind tends to go to the negative before the positive, right? We remember negative experiences better than positive experiences. So when do you remember God came through on time for you? Because it's not always going to be in the 11th hour. It's not always going to be like when you're running on fumes and you can barely get your car down the street because there's no gas in it. And you're like, God, I need gas. I have to do this. God, there's nothing. I'm on my last, last box of mac and cheese. You know, those situations that you go through and God will refill. So yeah, there's a bit of a, a trauma where it's like coming down to the last and oof, it happened. And now you're like, I don't want to be there again. Right. So it's understandable. So you write that down. God, the 11th hour saving that you do, you know, it, it makes me feel like I'm so happy you came through, but it's a bit uncomfortable. It's so uncomfortable because, and you write down what it is, or you can say, God, you know, when I had that close call, there was that accident. Or when I went to the doctor and I got the test results back and it said that this is what I have issues with. You be honest. And then you let the Holy Spirit work within you. Okay. He gets to work within you. So now God can start showing you how you need to leave it to him because really it's what we have to do. When you hear, be still and know that God will come through, that is one of the most difficult things to be still if you don't have trust in him. So now Jesus wants us to get to this childlike trust. As mentioned, it said, truly I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. So here is the change. Here is the change. You are becoming like a child by intentionally bringing it to God and saying, I want to have this childlike posture where, with regards to how you operate in my life. I want to have this, just not even think about it. God will do it kind of posture. I don't even have to worry because God's got me posture. So you go before him and then you say, God, this is what I need for this specific situation. So I wanted to highlight that for you all today. This scripture, this message that I know God put in my heart to give here to you. And I want to pray. I want to pray so that not just for you, but also for me too, because we are all walking this journey with God, right? So let's pray. Heavenly Father, Knowing your word in Matthew 18, one to three, where you, Yahushua said that unless we become like little children, we will never enter the kingdom of heaven. We want to have this childlike trust and faith. And we are on our way there with many things, but we ask you to help us, Jesus, help us, heavenly father, help us, Holy Spirit, help us be in that childlike faith position where it comes to the things that you want us to leave to you that we do not directly control and help us to be confident knowing that you have it, that you have it. Even though there has been some close calls and last minute situations, let us learn everything we need to learn from those last minute situations. So if there's anything we're doing 
that is causing them to repeat that we, because it's dependent on your mercy, let us not repeat those mistakes again. Reveal it to us and help us do it the right way. But in situations where you do come through last minute, because it's intentional for that and not caused by us, sometimes it can be traumatic when in similar situations again. But Father, help us instead to see it the way you want us to see it, where you are never late, but always on time. You are never late, but always on time. Hallelujah. And thank you, Father, so much for helping us to see it the way that you desire for us to see it. Help us, Heavenly Father, to adopt this faith in the biggest situations, this this trust, really. It's a trust, you know, that you're going to do it. No matter the situation, even if it's big, small or big, help us to be like, you got it. You got it. And remind us of all the times, even though the situations that you were in before may not be as big as what's currently before us, still remind us of the times that you came through on time, every single time, which you always do. Remind us of it, God. Help us not to forget it, Holy Spirit. We thank you for hearing us today. And thank you, Father, for listening to this effectual prayer by the righteous, according to James 5, 16. Thank you that it has accomplished much. In the mighty name of your son, Yahushua Mashiach, Jesus the Christ, hallelujah and amen. You all be blessed. And I will see you at the next episode.